Hello, everyone, and welcome to this session on revenue management. It's revenue management one because it's a three part series. So let's get introduced to the concept of revenue management. I work as an associate professor and training and placement head at AISSMS College of Hotel Management, Pune. And I have about 23 years of work experience. The last big stint being Taj Hotels in India and abroad. Hi, my name is Samir Divanji, and let's begin with revenue management. Revenue management today is a specialized field. Hotels have revenue managers, a department, there's a revenue director in bigger hotel chains. So it's a very, very specialized field and rightly so because it is very, very important. Imagine you're on a beautiful holiday to Maldives. You're sitting in a flight to Malé, dreaming of beach, sand, sunshine, all right? Now, also imagine that you're th sitting in the flight and thinking about, oh, what has this passenger paid for his trip? What has the other one paid? So you all are thinking about what has been the money that people have spent on the ticket. Same flight, same airlines, same ticket category, same destination. So right, the origin of revenue management is in the airline industry, civil aviation. From there, it came to the hotel industry. And remember, hotel industry or any other industry, the basic motto at the end of the day is to maximize revenues. We all want a profitable business. So revenue management is a technique to maximize revenues. As simple as that. So I repeat, revenue management is a technique to maximize revenues. So that's why it's becoming all the more important because it looks at maximizing your revenues, whatever potential you have in the property, in the hotel, in any department, you try to maximize the revenues. So tool to compare potential revenue as a standard against the actual revenue. So we look at what could be the revenue and always look at the big picture. So that's revenue management. Now, revenue management typically has a few characteristics. Then you know this can be applied to that particular industry. So what are some of the characteristics of revenue management? Perishable inventory. We all speak about rooms are a perishable commodity, right? You've gone through that. So why are we saying rooms are perishable? Room is not paneer or it's not, it's not a dish that will go bad or perish or you know, go stale. But yes, it is a perishable inventory in the sense that if that room is not sold tonight, it cannot be sold tomorrow for last night. Can you tell a guest, listen, I'm sorry, yesterday we couldn't sell this room. Can you pay for last night as well? So room revenue lost for that night is lost forever. Isn't that true for airline seat? Once the flight takes off, can you really account for that flight uh, seat money? No, that revenue is lost forever. So perishable inventory in that sense. Relatively fixed capacity. An airline aircraft, even if it's a it's an Airbus 360, it has fixed number of seats or a hotel has 100 rooms for instance so that capacity is 100 rooms yes maybe for a conference you can sell it at triple occupancy and take it to 300 guests but not beyond that so relatively fixed capacity you can't quickly build a room on the terrace and say that you know i'm increasing the capacity high fixed costs low variable costs fixed cost is your salary if you're working in a hotel, you can't be told that, listen, the occupancy this month is a little less. We can't pay you full salary. No salaries are fixed costs, for example. Variable costs are low and those vary according to occupancies. 
so things like your electricity consumption or the supplies that you keep in the guest room etc advanced reservations almost all the industries where revenue management is applicable have a facility of advanced reservations time variable demand so the demand for hotels varies the maldives resort that you are booked for now is again seasonal so there is a peak season there is a shoulder season and there is of course a lean season or valley period so it's very seasonal you know that a hill station is the most crowded during summers or on the weekends a resort is more booked a city hotel in a pune or a mumbai or a delhi typical with business client they have a very busy monday to thursday or monday to friday where friday there are a lot of checkouts because it's a city hotel business hotel guests check out for the weekend and then again occupancy start going up for the week segmentable markets various segments uh, an hotel has transient guests it has groups it has crew members or airline crew it has corporates fits so various it's single lady travelers senior citizens you, nowadays hotels want to increase the segments and cater to that segment families children etc so think about this now that you know what is basic revenue management let's look if we can apply this to other things lodging yes of course hotels we spoke about car rentals interesting cruise liners yes any others right so here i have an animation of an auto rickshaw tuk tuk so what does this auto rickshaw do i have seen and now that i know revenue management i have also applied it to that so what have i thought about i thought about how Uh, an auto wala a rickshaw wala also sometimes has a little poster or an advertisement at the back so he is a very smart revenue manager i must say because he is utilizing his potential so an auto has having an advertisement at the back is getting a monthly payment for that advertisement also i've seen auto rickshaw drivers having putting their baskets uh, putting the eggs in different baskets what do i mean by that i mean that they are auto walas for school children so they have that fixed income and then once the school children are left in school dropped in school they go about doing regular business and then again fetch them from the school and drop them back home and then again they do their business so that's maximizing your revenues so that's very smart auto rickshaw revenue manager all right also let's think of educational institutes wow now how can educational institutes also maximize revenues yes consultancy training training restaurants and hotels using the same classroom that you use during the day for evening classes for a night school so nothing can go waste you can maximize and look at every place as a potential revenue opportunity so if at the end of this presentation you start thinking on these lines then this presentation has achieved something i would say so think of every little thing around and think how you can maximize revenues for that all right of course wherever it's applicable so successful revenue management is to sell the right product to the right customer on the right day for the right price all right and what is right for you for your product for your customer for that day for that price is your calculations and that's where revenue management is total revenue potential of a guest or any group staying in the hotel of course the room rental the food and beverage business center internet usage spa recreation sorry and various other things that they use they could buy from you they could 
uh, use any other package that you have. You could have some shopping arcade or recreational center. So there are various aspects to revenue management. So think of a guest and not just his room and food and beverage. Think of how he can maximize revenue from a guest. So revenue management is all about predictions and decisions. All right. Predictions, you must have heard of it, forecasting and then decisions. Let's quick, uh, quickly look at the last part of this presentation on introduction of revenue management called benefits of revenue management. So revenue management has really so many benefits. That's why it's such a niche or an expert area today in the industry. That's why there are revenue departments in the industry today. So benefits of revenue management, improved forecasting. You do various studies, you look at history, you look at what you have, you study every little bit of revenue that's coming from where and how and uh, from whom. So your forecasting is improved because you have so much more data. When you have enough data, your forecasting improves. Improved seasonal pricing and inventory decisions. Because your forecasting is better, your pricing is better. You know exactly when you have the peak periods, when the city is doing really well or your hotel is doing really well and when you can drop your prices a little. Also inventory decisions. How much can you block for a segment like groups or long stairs or transient guests? Identification of new market segments. That's very important because every market segment is unique. They have their own demands or needs. And if you cater to those needs, you do a success or become a success with that segment. Some hotels are more popular apart from business also with families because they've tapped the families of the city very well. So they have so many city dwellers or families coming to them. So new market segments could be like a chain has a special flow for single lady travelers. So that's, that's how they are tapping an entire new segment of single lady by giving them a spe specific requirement and special uh, special deal. So identification of new market segments and identification of market segment demands. All this results in better coordination or enhanced coordination between sales and front office. So revenue management, sales and front office. Another very important point is logical discounting is implemented, not ad hoc. You don't want a repetition of being a hotel which is a discount hotel. No. You want your hotel to still be the classy hotel, still be well sought after, but you still want to maximize your revenues. So revenue management, because your forecasting and pricing decisions are right, you know exactly how much discount you can give. What's the bar today, best available rate for today or this week? And everybody in the hotel then speaks the same language. So it's not that, oh, if I go to the manager, I'll get this rate. If I go to the GM, I'll get this rate. So that's logical discounting with a reason, not ad hoc. Very important point. Please remember this. All this results in increased profitability because you've looked at every possible aspect of revenue. Consistency in procedures. Your SOPs are so well defined. As I said, if you have a walk-in, you know exactly what rate to offer because it's come from your revenue management. It is not up to the women fancy of a manager or the GM. So you know exactly what to do with queries, with guests and queries. So consistency in procedures. Saving in labor costs and other operating expenses. Because you can forecast better, predict better, your costs also reduce. You know how many ad uh, on contract do you need for that time period or how many trainees you need, how much staff do you need, any other things that you need to prepare and keep, so operating expenses also. So these are the benefits of revenue management. I hope they are clear. I'll quickly leave you 
with a thought about ARR or ADR and RevPAR. These are very important as far as revenue management is concerned. So ARR is average room rate, as you all know. American books call it average daily rate, ADR. But the formula is the same. Do you know the formula? Yes. I keep correcting students to say total room revenue, not revenue only. All right, because total revenue would be food and beverage also or other revenue also. So ARR equals total room revenue divided by the number of rooms sold. Right? And ref par is again, the numerator remains the same, total room revenue divided by, divided by number of rooms available. Ref par here is a very important statistic. Please understand because it gives you two dimensional view, better view. If you tell me the ARR or the ADR of your hotel is at 10,000, I'll say, wow, your hotel is doing well. But am I right? No, because if I dig deeper, I'll see that only 10 rooms are occupied out of 50 rooms. So what's the use of getting 10,000 from every room on an average ARR, but remaining 40 rooms are vacant? But if I ask you your rev par, that gives me your room occupancy and ARR as a combined statistic. So when you tell me your rev par is so and so, I know it is revenue per available room. So it just tells me that you're using your forecasting, your revenue management better. So revenue per available room or rev par is extremely important. Are you getting this? ARR just gives you the revenue, but rev par gives you revenue along with occupancy. So it's a better statistic to deal with and look at revenue management, how successful or not successful it is for that hotel. Great then, thank you. Happy counting your monies, do a great revenue management job. There are many reference books in, uh, which are there for revenue management. It's a topic where you can keep digging further deeper and it's interesting if you really have the eye for finance and management. So revenue management is in three parts. This is the first part. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention and thank you for your commitment to be an excellent hotelier. I hope you are inclined to see revenue management part two in the series. Thank you.